I went from condos to pops house on calls now bus routes and the one person who had the key to my heart took it and checked out so uh kind of like talking uh, about gang banging and everything like that and we going we going to kind of like switch it up not go to the political side of it and everything but you know being from LA you know I know you're a big fan you know of Nip you know you got the tat and everything like that so I just want to not really talk about the tat but I want to talk about your love for Nip like where did the love for Nip come from you know what I'm saying man almost like a mirror effect like I was looking at him I seen a lot of qualities that I had in him yeah. you know um he put on for the city. He was like our 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 generation's Tupac, like what a lot of motherfuckers say. Yeah, um, yeah. You could resonate with him. He was solid. He was humble, and he was hardworking. Um, he comes from a place that we all know. Um, well, at least if you're from LA, and you know, you don't even have to be a hood nigga to really fall into like how you feel. You know, you could just be a nigga that don't bang that just is about money or yeah. somebody that you know that wanted to start something you know what i'm saying like so i feel like just being around him i mean not being around him but seeing him and shit like that like i was like yeah this is this the nigga right here man you know what i'm saying so i naturally i just got I, it was like damn bro like i got a lot of love and respect for bro yeah that's what's up that's what i always say bro the crenshaw album got me through one of the hardest times of my fucking life bro yeah. like i was out there on the streets you know no money shit just hit the fan relation everything was just garbage bro living in my car you know what i'm saying yeah. i bumped that shit every day got on my grind started my bitch so i i i definitely got a lot of love for nip man and a lot of us from la do like a lot of yeah. people found out about nip later yeah but us is like bro we've been in the trenches with nip like listening to nip and everything Bullets like that no day name. day one you yeah, feel me yeah exactly yeah. you know quick story man i always tell people before Nip got famous, cause um, you know, we used to stay off of there, stay off of 54th and um Crenshaw for a little bit. Yeah. And I didn't know until later, but you know, me and a couple of my cousins, you know, we would always get weed and everything, you know what I'm saying? Buy yeah. uh, uh bootleg DVDs and all that. Yeah. And Nip was the dude, later we found out he was the dude in the Caprice. At that time he had a low haircut. He only he didn't even have the long braids or like, nothing. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, was yeah. like probably 17, 16, something like yeah, that. Yeah. But we was getting the uh, bootleg DVDs from Nip. I yeah. found that shit out later, like, oh shit, that was Nip. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right there in the little plaza selling bootleg DVDs in the in the Caprice, bro. Yeah. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. So <laughs> So I mean that's some LA shit for you though. You know what I'm saying? For sure. So for uh, sure. Man, yeah, that's yeah. funny. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, crazy, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So um going back to your story and everything like that. So um, you know, later on, and this is just something that I read. I don't know if it's true or not, but uh, uh, did, in high school, did you start doing like talent shows and stuff like that? Talent shows? Yeah, or, or performing? Did, was you kind of like just trying to? Was you getting into your music bag? You know, getting it out there a little bit? No, nah, I wasn't. No, nah, okay. I wasn't. I was. Um, I never did any talent shows. Uh, I definitely did some acting though. Yeah, yeah. I did some acting, but that was unrelated to anything school bound. That was yeah. like everybody hates Chris. Malcolm in the Middle, That's So Raven, Fill of the Future. Oh, yeah, okay. Um, um, yeah, shit like that. Nigga did yeah, that. All yeah. of that stuff right there and stuff. And a lot of those roles was like, some. a lot of them was like background. But then I had a, a couple roles where I was just like, okay, bet. Like, a nigga can talk a little bit here and there. I got my little <laughs> taste of the limelight and shit. And now that I'm looking back at it, I'm like, bro, I really wish that um I would have stayed in that type of entertainment field. Yeah, like, yeah. that field, too, because it's just like, that's really where the bag is at. You wake up in the morning at 6 o'clock. You go to CBS Studios, you sit there, they got craft service, yeah. they got apples, bananas, pudding, oatmeal, continental breakfast, the stars walking around and shit like that. You go up in there, they get you all dressed up, they give you some lines and shit. You say the lines, nigga, you get paid, you get out, you a star, nigga. Yeah, yeah. That's the kind of shit, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> yeah. That's the kind of shit. And I'm about to get, I'm about to jump back into that field. I'm trying to get get my SAG card and union and all that shit together. But yeah, bro, that's about as, uh, as far as performing arts and shit, I mean, yeah, like I went to CBS Studios, did a couple little background roles and shit. Got you. Got you.